Hey everybody, so I just completed my two week solid food vacation, Juice Fast. I lost a couple pounds of muscle, which I was aiming to just try and lose fat. Seems I wasn't getting enough juice, however, I am very satisfied with the results. I felt great the entire time. But before I get into that, here's some of my uh, before photos and during. Cause what you got to lose, 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 got to So you can see that I lost a bit of muscle. I got a little bit smaller, but overall, I feel like I look a little bit bigger just because I did lose quite a bit of the fat that I had in the midsection. Um, I can tell that I lost a bit um, on the chest and biceps, but I'm very satisfied. I felt great the entire time. I had tons of energy. I was able to actually go to the gym and put in about 70% intensity of what I normally will lift. So I stayed in there usually for about 45 minutes per session and I was able to do quite a bit of cardio as well as lifting quite a bit of weights. Uh, didn't struggle too much with the juicing. Um, I mean, it does take quite a bit of time. I was hoping to get about two gallons per day, but from the way that things were going, I had issues with the juicer. It was difficult with work and things to get, you know, all that juice made, two gallons a day. That would take me about two hours roughly per day to do um, with the juicer I was using. Unfortunately, I broke down about three juicers um, doing the juice fast. And luckily I was able to return them, get them exchanged out. But next time I'll get a better juicer, probably go for the Omega. But I was juicing all sorts of stuff, guys. I was juicing uh, bok choy, spinach, celery, cucumbers, um, fruits and vegetables, melons, uh, pineapples. Um, I was focusing more on the leafy greens, a lot of kale, uh, as well as um, uh, chard, rainbow chard, and um, things like that that would be nutrient dense. A lot of those amino acids so that I wouldn't have to have as much protein. Um, I did have a few times after workouts where I felt really tired, really sore. So I took a couple of scoops of whey, not whey, uh, organic protein. It's got some peas, uh, cranberry protein, all sorts of different stuff. No soy. So it was good to avoid the estrogen and soy. But I, I felt great. I had tons of energy through the roof. About day five, I started having bowel movements again and seeing things come out that, you know, I didn't eat for five days. So that was a little crazy. Um, had that happened a few times during the two week span. But um, I'm overall very happy. It gave me a really good foundation to be able to now start eating more of a uh, plant-based diet, raw diet. I actually broke my fast tonight uh, eating this delicious salad. Um, a lot of vegetables, uh, avocados, olive oil, and some seasonings, which was amazing. It tasted so good. And because I did feel like I needed the protein, um, I, I had some shrimp because, I mean, Having been keto carnivore, I love having you know chicken and meat and things, but I want to have a more plant-based diet foundation. So I, I had some shrimp, but I left them raw. So I mean, I've done that before, like ceviche, use white fish. If it's been previously flash frozen, it's actually good to go. So don't have to worry about that. But um, yeah, very happy with the fast. It's gonna be a great foundation for me to go back into the gym and start putting on some more weight. Last time I got about this small, lost this muscle mass was when I had gotten the C a few months ago. I got really sick and uh, I didn't eat for about two weeks and I lost quite a bit of weight. I lost about 10 pounds then. Overall, I'm down um, seven pounds. So I lost about seven pounds of weight. And you know, from looking in the gym, I feel like a lot of it was the midsection fat. Uh, my shoulders are looking really lean when I'm working out. So very happy with the results physically. Um, I had a lot of mental clarity. I was able to get a lot of work done, really focus on things that were important. With everything going on in the world, it was really a good experience to be able to get, get a bit grounded, go out in nature, and just kinda you know, not have to have the stress that I normally have with what am I gonna eat? Am I gonna eat meat? Am I gonna have to go and get some organic meat? Am I gonna have to go to the farm and find some meat that I can feel all right with eating? But it was nice, I was able to just juice, juice every day and not have to worry about food coming in or really food coming out because there was not a lot. So um, it, it was great um, being able to have all that fruit and vegetables in me. I never felt hungry. I felt satiated the whole time. Never once was I 
say, oh, I need to just go out and eat something. Um, it's not something that's so hard to do. Um, I had done it once before. I, I used to be vegan uh, as well as vegetarian in the past. Uh, fortunately, I don't feel that it's something that I can do in the long term um, with you know just my body composition and kind of my life goals and things. But I'm trying to hit that pattern. But uh, you know, John Rose has some really good information about how you can do that if your priority isn't you know to be able to perform physically um, such as I do for work and things like that. So I had done it a few years ago, about two years ago. I lost quite a bit of weight, of course, as usual, and I was starving the entire time. I ordered one of those online juice fast um, kits that had about six little bottles a day. I drank those as well as made my own juice at home, a lot of fruits, vegetables, and I maybe like about a quarter to a half gallon per day additional to those juice, and I was still hungry. So you have to just really make a ton of juice. And, you know, they say that the better results you're going to have when you actually have a lot more juice per day because you're just flushing out your system, flushing out the colon, flushing out your stomach, getting all that um, mucoid plaque, everything dislodged from your colon. And I mean, if you pa pair it with um, some um, a colonic, so you pair it with uh, uh, enemas. Personally, I've been a fan of coffee enemas for a year, for a couple of years. Um, does wonders. I did that on the last day uh, yesterday and just cleared out a bunch more stuff that I wasn't aware that was in me. So I know it sounds awful, but I mean, it's, it, it was nice to see the work that I put in for the two weeks and get it just flushed out, do a little bit extra, push that extra mile with, with the, uh, the coffee enema. Overall, this fast went so much better, felt highly energized the entire time, never really was hungry. I feel great now, I feel like I can go back to eating, more plant-based diet, focus on a lot more fruits and vegetables in the morning all day, avoid the breads, avoid the grains, avoid a lot of unnecessary carbs. Um, when I need it, maybe some, some butter. Um, I'm having a lot of fats and oils. Um, when I need it, um, some raw shrimps, maybe do some raw salmon, white fish. Try and not do anything cooked for a while because I do feel like not eating cooked foods has been kind of appealing to me. I'm not wanting to cook, and I love to cook. I, I can cook falafels, and I can make the most delicious uh, sa sautéed uh, tofu, um, all sorts of delicious vegan dishes that I know how to make that I had done in the past, but now just the raw food appeals to me so much more. So I'm really looking forward to, to getting into the raw diet and really focusing on that and implementing my own kind of a a little twist on it using kind of um, some of the experience I have in the keto carnivore world as well as um, the, the vegan world and uh, using my knowledge of those two diets, the paleo. I've been eating tons of nuts uh, lately and craving nuts like crazy honey. So I'm really excited to be eating solid foods again. You have no idea. So uh, for anybody on the fence about the diet, um, the juice fast, the John Rose protocol, I say do it. It's probably going to be something that I'm going to want to incorporate every um, couple months, I would say, at least every year now, if not just for kind of a, a bulk, uh, a, a cutting thing at the end of like the winter season for me to get the weight down and um, have a nice, flexible, you know, summer body, um, which of course, that's not the reason I do it. It's for fitness, of course, but you know, it, it, it's a lot of work knowing what to eat, how to eat. And it's, you know, the juice fast, it's kind of, you're doing two things at once. You're able to lose a lot of weight and I only lost seven pounds, but had I had a lot more body fat, I would have lost a lot more because it would have been the fat as well as some of the other stuff that would have come out inside of me. You know, I probably passed, you know, a couple pounds, a pound or so of internal colon waste that I didn't know was there that isn't my body fat. Um, but for those of you that do have more, more body mass, um, more more fat to burn it's something that you're going to learn be able to lose a lot of weight like 20 pounds in a two-week period at, at least and that's kind of what i expected but knowing that i was going into it with about 12 to 15 percent body fat i would say um, i didn't have as much to lose so i'm very satisfied with the results um gonna focus on eating a better diet and um trying to follow more of the uh, the vegan lifestyle um vegetarian lifestyle which i've been loving the raw and um, yeah, let me know if you've got any questions. Um, love to help you out on the journey. And um, you know, you guys take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching.
Growing up, parents got me a guitar. Said you could do anything, kid. You could go far. You could be the president, fireman, race cars. The sky's the limit, kids. So shoot for the stars. So I strum that guitar.